Can you imagine that in the near future, it will be as common to see a rocket land as it is to see a jet land every hour? Sounds absurd, huh? On the other hand, SpaceX is already doing that. The entire space industry is undoubtedly shocked by this. Why is it noteworthy? Keep watching until the very end so we can further analyze and delve into everything in a much more thorough manner. Making money in space is difficult. Sending items from Earth into space is expensive. We don't know how to recycle rocket ships, but isn't that the reason for that? Since Sputnik's flight, which marked the official start to the space age 60 years ago, the majority of spacecrafts have been launched using expendable launch vehicles, or ELMS, which only fly once. After delivering their payload, they either crash land on Earth, burn up in the atmosphere, or simply linger in orbit as space debris. However, every time a new payload needed to be launched into orbit, a brand new ELV had to be built at a cost of millions of dollars. Think about how much an Uber would cost if the driver had to buy a new car every time. The logical course of action would seem to be to reuse rockets. Although the idea of reusable launch vehicles is not new, it has historically been difficult to reuse rockets. The first significant attempt to construct an RLV was the NASA Space Shuttle program. The Space Shuttle fleet was created to lower the cost of space transportation by being mostly reusable. However, the initiative actually increased costs rather than reducing them. These factors made the Space Shuttle fleet difficult to maintain and dangerous to operate, and it might have seemed that the case for the RLVs might have been established by the time the 30-year program ended in 2011. RLV supporters, however, were unfazed. Elon Musk, the entrepreneur who founded SpaceX, claims that a few months after the final space shuttle voyage, he will make his Falcon 9 rocket reusable. The booster stage, which is the most expensive part of the Falcon 9 rocket, was the first thing SpaceX looked into recovering and reusing. Two years later, the corporation began sending used boosters on controlled descent into the ocean in an effort to recover them. After several spectacular failures in 2015, SpaceX successfully recovered a rocket for the first time. Over the next 15 months, SpaceX recovered an increasing number of boosters, accumulating a stockpile of used rockets, but it hasn't yet recycled any of them. When a recovered booster was rebuilt and used to launch a communication satellite in March 2017, everything changed. A rocket was already being used more than once, that distinction will always belong to the Space Shuttle program. However, the Falcon 9 that was used in the Space Shuttle was less expensive, and for the first time in history, recycling rockets was financially advantageous. After five years, SpaceX and Elon Musk had broken a remarkable record for the rocket industry by successfully launching three Falcon 9 rockets less than 34 hours apart. The company is currently one mission away from reaching Elon Musk's lofty target of 60 launches in 2022. Regarding this, Elon tweeted, Congratulations to the SpaceX team on pre-perfect orbital launches in less than 36 hours. The time period was almost even more intense because there were three launches scheduled for a period of 10 to 11 hours, two of which were only minutes apart. However, SpaceX's deliberate sequencing ultimately produced excellent results and helped the company break its own record for the quickest completion of three flights of the same rocket. SpaceX completed three comparable launches in June 2022 in a time of 36 hours and 18 minutes. A commercial communication satellite, a research Earth observation satellite, and a Starlink mission. Six months later, SpaceX has successfully launched another Earth observation satellite, 54 Starlink satellites, commercial communication satellites, and other satellites in 33 hours and 46 minutes, slashing its own launch times by more than two hours. As part of SpaceX's recent hat trick, which was delayed from December 12th to 15th, the joint U.S.-French surface water and ocean topography SWAT mission was launched by a Falcon 9 on December 16th from Vandenberg Space Force Base in California. The 2.2-ton radar satellite launched into low-Earth orbit, which would allow it to precisely assess virtually every square inch of exposed water on Earth, was a complete success. 
This new capability should make it easier for scientists to study and comprehend the Earth's water cycle and humanity's significant impact on those processes. A little over 11 hours later, a second Falcon 9 rocket was launched from the IC-40 pad of SpaceX's Cape Canaveral Space Force Station, carrying the first Boeing-built 203BM power satellites for SATCOM provider SES. Steve Collar claims the SpaceX's workhorse rocket once again performed flawlessly, even exceeding its predetermined limits. The first 11 empowered satellites will be launched by SpaceX in full. Boeing will complete the remaining nine, which will be put into orbit between 2023 and 2024. The quickness of all three launches demonstrates the breadth of SpaceX's expertise. Each Falcon 9 booster successfully landed after supporting each orbital launch, ensuring that those boosters will be able to support additional launches in the near future. Starlink 437 was actually the 15th mission for the Falcon 9 rockets, breaking SpaceX's own records for booster rescue and pushing the limits of technology. It is unknown if the company will advertise beyond 15 flights. Falcon 9 rockets will be retired after 15 flights. In interviews with Aviation Week in June 2022, a SpaceX executive claimed that each booster could launch more than 100 times with routine maintenance. This was a significant departure from earlier indications. Without a doubt, what SpaceX has done and is doing is incomprehensible. Furthermore, Starlink 437 marked SpaceX's 59th successful orbital flight in 2022. In March, CEO Elon Musk raised the yearly target from 52 launches to 60 launches. At the time, 60 in a year was practically unimaginable. With 61 successful launches in a single year in 1980, the Russian R-7 rocket family set a new record for a family of rockets. Despite all odds, SpaceX has persisted week after week, launching a rocket once every six days on average for more than a year. Numerous sources